Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me at CGV. What happened to the great Doja? Where are you? Uh, I am in Florida. I'm staying at an Airbnb. This is my vacation. Uh, well, CGB, I don't think you know what a vacation is. It means you don't work. Oh, but if I have a computer with me, I can still just make a video and put it up. And trust me, I'm not working. I do this for fun. Well, some of it. Things I don't do for fun. Intros. Intros are work. I don't want to talk about my deck. I want to play. How many of you just sit there talking to a screen about your deck all day? Right? Right? No questions. Uh, so this is a vacation intro. It's mono black. It's got death touch stuff. Um, that's about it. It's discardy, duress, eh? Eh? Deep cavern bat, eh? Seen it all before, not impressed. Billy's Skull Dweller, Bilus <laughs> Skull Dweller. Uh, also, if you have any concerns about the sound of my voice, it's because maybe I'm not in the very soundproof room with the extra awesome microphone and all of the little plugins I use to make my voice sound right. If that's a thing for you. Uh, I'm gonna be here for a while, uh, making some videos for you from here, and then going right back to my vacation. So hopefully you enjoy them. And uh, regardless, please uh, support the show. Check out Ultimate Guard, their sponsor. Check out Cool Stuff Inc., their sponsor. Links in the description, go do that. And if you want to enjoy this Death Touch slash discard themed mono black deck, let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. On the play, this hand is a bonkers. Let's do this every game. Boom. What are you going to do? You're going to die to the Skull Dweller. Because your hand is slow. Alright, do we play a bat? No way. Look at that. That sucks. Get underdog. Mm. Damage. Put pressure on their life total. See how they respond to that. Picnic Ruiner, garbage. Easy, fodder, trash. Love it. But do we leave something back to protect the Liliana? Eh. No. No respect. Red green decks pretending to be mono red. I hate mono red. I don't know if I hate these worse, but I certainly don't respect them. Ooh. Well, wait. We'll be patient. Let's get a look at this hand. Anger, Questing Druid, Audacity. Okay. Pretty easy. This has to have double strike. They're going to try to put it there. Kill that. Nope. Kill that. Block that. I guess. Let's see if we can get them to make a mistake with the audacity or the anger. Oh, they top decked that. That must be nice for you. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Target there, 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 there. Beautiful. Love that for me. No picnics to ruin for you. <laughs> watch watch the angry response of a monstrous rage. And then I bet they attack anyway into the skull dweller. <laughs> That's why Death Touch is good now, because everybody's trying to go bigger than your creatures. And just farm them. All right, let's draw some cards. Cards are nice. Opponent doesn't like that. <laughs> they don't like that one bit. No respect, none. Bring on the mono red. I'm ready for you. I have a bat. What could go wrong? 
And it's not a one drop, two drop hand, which means this duress might hit. Oh, we hit. Oh, we definitely hit. Hmm. The smite? We can play around the smite. They're never going to get told the sunfall that long. So it's the march. The key is going to be getting the land and playing the Liliana before they can do anything about it. <laughs> no, none of that. No memories. Here we go. Here we go. When Keep on picking at them. You're telling me what don't overthink things. And then we attack with our bats. Just kidding. They would snap off that smite so fast. <laughs> Just kidding. That's not happening. Not today. So, how about that smite? I'm tired of your secrets. <laughs> They're still hanging on to it. Do I play an adversary? Could kick it next turn. Let's go, Lily. Let's go. She's gonna get there, guys. It's gonna do it. Have things we'd rather. There goes the smite. Still not putting the bat out there. I mean, I'll go for this. It's fine if they want to use field now. We gotta make them do it. They're like holding it and holding it. Gotta work our way through it. Plus, we get to thin our deck. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, well, they could draw Get Lost, but no mercy. No! They did the... They top deck the Odawara. They did the thing. I'm tired of your secret. One of in the deck, I'm sure. Easy. Never didn't have it. Well, let's see how good they draw from here. It's pretty good. We need a spell to play or they get the loot. I guess the getting the loot isn't that good for them, though. That's, that's, that's great. <laughs> that's great. No more we love that. Let's make this quick. Drop it. 22-8. What you got? A little desperate. If they pass, they get the loot for free. Most of their stuff is instants. Now they're just making sure they discard the best card. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's fine. So, Takanuma. They're at nine. What's Takanuma get? Right now, nothing. Could play it out as the land. Or we could mill ourselves and try to hit. Let's just play the land. Because we can also still power up Foundry if we do this. Four. Let's see what they got. <laughs> Show me what you can do. There goes desperation looting again. Hmm. And another look, which keeps them alive, because Celestis is awesome. Realm Breaker? Oh yay, land! Just what I needed. They Odawara me again. Ah, uh, depopulate? Sorry. sorry. They scoop it up because even if they draw Sunfall, they're gonna lose to the Foundry. 
tear them apart. I guess that's what people like about Discard. But was it that? Or was it the Duress? Was it the Liliana of the Veil? The cumulative effect? And we did, whew, somehow close the game. On the play. This is a better on the draw hand because of all the removal, but we'll keep it. Go ahead. Send out your dead card. I mean, at least they still get poison from it. In fact, definitely make a comeback. At least in the competitive stages. Not so much on ladder, I don't see it often. Do they know how to remove a bat? Whoa! It's a black version. Huh! Wild. These Phyrexian Samurais. Very creepy. Menace. They got Cavern, they got Seed Core. Yeah, they've got ways to play them. I do not have a way to cast Liliana. Makes me grumpy. I do, however, have a way to kill the Jawbone Duelist. Hard to be upset. There's your Butcher. Not the best menace I've ever seen. But the follow-up will also grant menace. So we should probably play this bat before they untap with it. What the heck? Whenever a creature you control with toxic deals damage to a player, they get an additional poison. A creature control with toxic gains death touch. What would I rather them have? I guess this comes out of the graveyard, potentially. If they spend their whole turn on this, then I kill it. That's not bad. I might be able to double spell if I let them keep the Butcher. And we hit the land. Let's go for that throat. And here's an underdog. Bats! Get them, bats! Yep, them's toxic creatures that they ripped off the top. Pretty strong. Hmm. If I play this Liliana and make them sacrifice, they just sack the chorus. It's not very good. And then I have to defend her, which I'm not in a great position to do. So I think we're just still attacking with bats. Defending with Mishra's foundries. Well, I like the attack with the Rock Priest. And yeah, I'm gonna put a foundry in harm's way. They probably expected that. Probably didn't expect this, but we've got to get through their crawling chorus before Liliana is useful. No! Not again! Ooh, you're good. You are a solid card. Uh, draw. Ooh, that's a solid card. We're gonna take some poison though first. No! That's another good one! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yeah, everybody in. I, I, I feel that. But Gix's command is gonna do the job. It's gonna do the job, we're gonna be okay. Wasn't in the top two. Oh no, oh no, oh no, not like this. Plus one, plus oh. Do we just try to race them? How much toxic is this? One, two, three, four. We're at 12. I think we just try to race them. I don't know what else to do. See, 
see this cool thing about all these life linking bats. They deal real damage with Henrika. Down to four. We're up to 27 and three poison. Scoop them. <laughs> oh, I feel like I stole that. Of course, a land for the Gix's command would have made it easy. On the play. We, we, I'm living in your skull. <laughs> Rent free in your head, ya haters. Leave your hatery comments. Fuel the algorithm. Quick. You non-haters. You cool kids. Leave some comments to offset the evil in the algorithm. What do you think? I think we attack first. We pause? No, oh, they don't have a cut. Alright. Nah, no bats. No bats. Let's put the pressure on the life total. It's worked out so far. <laughs> okay, sure. Kill my death toucher. Lily. Hello. <laughs> Gotta play it now. Very worth it. Very worth it. Oh! <laughs> they didn't like that one bit. A one, two, three curve? I, I concede. <laughs> Oh, come on, man. Best of one things. Best of one is easy. Just curve one, two, three. We have a creature deck. Creatures are so good right now, it's so hard to stop them. Of course, I trust my blue-white control deck to do it. But if I played that every single day... Well... You yeah, know. YouTube. YouTube and content. Keep. I mean, turn one's Gold Dweller. <laughs> we did it again! Opponents on that mill plan? They sure are. I'm coming for your skull. Yeah, go ahead. Absence. That's card advantage for me. What was your plan? To mind to break me? To sunfall me? So, they only they don't have that much land. We would take their partition and then they might do nothing for a few turns. I'm a little worried about them. Nah, they don't even have a way to discard it right now. We will give them a discard outlet eventually. But part of me says take a sunfall, but then on the end steps they can set up like, even if we draw another duress, they can get it. Yeah, let's take the partition. That Sunfall's gonna be tough to beat, but hopefully we get enough value that it doesn't end the game, and hopefully they miss a land drop. That would really help. Preach! Uh-huh. Look at him go. Right into a Sunset Revelry. So they have more life than me. That means I make a vampire, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, come on! Look at him go. Look at him go. Alright, with two Sunfalls, you don't want to play another bat. They might block the Foundry, but if they do that, they take three? And they do need a land? Probably just better off drawing a card, right? I guess we could try to draw something good. Sunfall. Oh, they found Mending. Lucky them. Deck is a pretty well-oiled machine these days. It's good at milling them. And it has enough sweepers that you just can't go all out on aggroing them. It's very frustrating. So what do you think? If I play a Liliana... And make them discard a card. Will they discard a Sunfall? If they do, they might get got by a bat. No more or I might get got if they have, you know, too many of the same card. We all have like three sunfalls. They 
discard a Jace and they hold double Sunfall. Of course they do. Wow, big surprise. Huge. All right, they've got a soul partition. Let's see what they discard this time. We're going land bat shieldred. Or are we? We could discard the land and go bat preacher, then shieldred. Depends what they discard. That's unfortunate. Okay, land it is. The sunfall. The sunfall? Memory Deluge. It's a little slow. It's a little slow. But if we take it, what are they going to partition? They want to partition the Liliana. They don't want to partition my bat. And then we play a Preacher so we have something to block the 4-4. Unless they do something different. It could Soul Partition a Preacher. Take the 4-4. No, they're just going to mill me. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> kind of down. Do I keep the Liliana? They give me two underdogs. I keep the Liliana. I wonder why they didn't attack with the 4-4. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm not interested in dying today. Gix's command. It's good to get rid of the 4-4 and get two cards, but this is a shield return with them on empty. Then if they power up the 4-4, we get them with Liliana. They cast the mending. Wow. Okay. <laughs> It'd be that way. Are you freaking kidding me, though? I don't have enough mana, though, to bring back the Deluge, but if I play a Liliana, they're just going to attack it with the 4-4. Four four. They had to draw that Sunfall. They really had to. Yeah, what solution did you top deck this time? Huh. Attack me for four is your solution? I accept. Very cool. <laughs> I love this. A bat. Wonderful. We'll get both their hand. And they still got those cards in the graveyard we have to deal with. Let's see what happens to our deck when we go after them. Mauler. Seems good. Okay, hanging in there. If they spend their turn mauling me again. I don't think it's the end of the world. Yeah, that's what they want to do. Now we need to, a way to get their hand again. Draw like a duress or something. Aklazots will get something. Because I'm sure they're setting up for the mill kill. That's a little bold, considering how much lifelink I have, and I can counterattack them with the Foundry. What is that? Nine damage? cards means I don't lose to Jace right now. They're at six. Six is kind of low. 
But I wish it were lower. Yep. <laughs> but I get a land. Still at six. A land could be really handy. They mend. They go to eight. Probably can't kill them. Another mauler in the graveyard. They're expensive to bring back, though. They really need a Jace to finish the job. <laughs> Another mend. Ah! Come on. Come on. Duress. I duress you. Soul partition. Gone. They're at eight. How close are they to dead? Can I underdog and foundry? All right, so this is the better play. <laughs> On the life linking bat, of course. No, they want to kill this one, so we have to put it here. All right. Once again, go for this mauler thing. They could find themselves dead. We have enough to flash back, bring back both underdogs, and we got four in the air. They're up to eight. Okay, they're up to 10, which we have enough. So what do they need, smite? They need exactly smite? Got one card. Okay, they can block. That's right. They can block. All right. Ooh, if I transform you. Mm -hmm. It's not enough. Not enough. And we are at 17. We do not want to draw two cards. If we draw two cards, we could die to a Jace. The Henrika's a really good play. What does it leave me? Three. So I guess I do want to send a Foundry. I guess I want to send a Foundry and make it a 4-4. Four, four. The Henrika transformed could give an extra plus two, but I need more than that. Yeah, the opponent's going to have to block here with their 2-2. Two, two. So we can just use the Foundry to pump it, pass it back to them. Let's see if they can rip a way to survive again. Six, the magic number all night. What you got? What can you do? I guess I'm dead to the Jace anyway, right? Because they can bring back the Mauler, then play the Jace. If they drew it. Are they that lucky? Are they that lucky? If they are, they win. It's so stupid, but they win. Go out like that, man. Can't do it. Just, oh. Getting top decked and top decked and top decked over and over. It's why discard is so bad. You can't stop them from just drawing the nuts, can you? You can't do it. Hand's great. I'll keep it. On the draw, it's a perfect, like, kind of anti aggro hand. Well, the amount of nothing I'm doing so far is uh, 
Interesting. Black on black. Black on black. I mean, should I force them to use their foundry to their field? No, no, I shouldn't. I don't think I have Liliana here either. I mean, they could duress it, but I want to save it as a removal spell. I don't have any other way to kill a Shieldred. My opponent might have four go for the throats. Oh, they play blue. Oh, this got harder. Oh, that's fine. That is fine. I think that's a virtue target. Stay patient. Don't assume they have nothing that you can just run something out and run away with the game. Might be a good Liliana spot. Thing is, I don't really want to discard my cards. Now, also, Tidebinder is. Well, I guess we could hit a Tidebinder with Anoint. These are all make disappear. Eh, let's go for the Preacher. Keep trying to soften him up. The throat has been gone for. Another field? How many fields do you get away with? Apparently the answer is more. More than this. I'm sure there's a go for the throat. Man, would duress be nice in these games? Oh, they let children live. Interesting. Can't be right. Can't be right. Um, I'm not playing Gix. They gotta do something. They got nothing? Got nothing. I don't usually have board wipes either. All right, there's a preacher. I'm gonna keep chilling. I'm assuming there's make disappears. Cut down, maybe? Okay, there it is. Interesting why they took six damage before playing that spell. But I'm sure they have a reason. I mean, it's time to send Gix. Okay, they did not remove the foundry. So I get a card. And a card? What is happening? I'm so confused. I'm not running into a make disappear. Nope, nope, nope. Not doing that. If they had used removal on the preacher, I was going to try powering up the foundry. Uh, virtue, sure. Yeah, you got it. Huh. Uh, again. My two mana up. Doesn't feel like they have it. As far as a make disappear. They might have negate. They keep holding up mana. It's got to mean something. And now, we're going to find out what that something means. I was just waiting for a bat or a duress to help me understand if my Liliana would be safe. What the heck? <laughs> Turn the earth. Turn the earth? Sneaky Saltai? Uh, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You can't, you can't escape me. I've duressed you. Cut down. Yep. Gix's command. 
really good against these two creatures on board. So sure, Path of Peril, terrible against these creatures. Awesome. Dissipate, played around it pretty well, I think. Turn the Earth. Don't know. I don't know. But yeah. It's really nice that we still have Liliana up our sleeve for the Shieldred. Oh, by the way, I've been on the road. I haven't been making videos the last few days. Michigan won the national freaking championship. So go blue. I, I, I made some YouTube posts. Apparently a lot of you never connected that particular dot of covert go blue, the go blue being uh, U of M related, but it is, it is. Uh, because it was made by Xbox random name generator. <laughs> when I logged into Twitch for the very first time, uh, I just had it pick my name for me, my Xbox Live. I was on a Xbox 360, I think, at the time. And I played a lot of NCAA 2013 as the University of Michigan. And I think that is why it chose that name for me. Covert Go Blue. The covert part, I attribute to playing a lot of Perfect Dark. All right. Mono red, mono red, mono red. At least they don't have a burn spell right now, and I'm sure they'll never draw another. But we're mana screwed, which is always the way it seems to go. Mana screwed and relying on a bat. I guess we save Anoint for something that comes out of the graveyard. Squee and Phoenix Chick in the mono red deck both do that. Pretty absurd. Oh, come on. Deck? Deck? I'm trying to stay alive here. Uh, at least mana screw them too. In fact, let them draw four bloodthirsty adversaries, one charm scoundrel, perfect. All right, let's see what they want to do here. Roll. They're gonna roll on their self. So the right thing to do is to kill that now. And I'm still saving a night. Come on, land. Come on, land. Yes. Yes. That's what we needed. Will it be enough? Or at the lower life total, let's get out the 2-4 that makes a life linker. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. But Death Touch. Death Touch is strong. Oh, come on! <laughs> Did it have to be Frenzy? Okay, okay, okay. Hang hang in there. Hang in there. Still gaining that life. I think we go for this Anoint right here. We play our Skull Dweller into our Lily, into Anoint, into Liliana. Get creatures off the board before they draw another mountain. It's in your head, in your head. Too bad it's not a zombie. Lily's into zombies though. Mm-hmm, all right, Monstrous Rage, let's go. Right here, right here, Monstrous Rage, Monstrous Rage. Monstrous Ray. Damage. Damage. Do it. Easy. Easy. Pass. Okay, they're gonna kill the bat. Alright, then we, we do this now. Try to keep them on empty creature wise. Oh, backup bat? Attack. You gonna let me have it? You gonna let me have it? Uh huh. Let me take a lightning strike. I love these bats. I've never said anything different. Play with fire out of there. <laughs> they do have rage. They do have rage. No mountain, no mountain, no mountain, no mountain. Come on! Game over. I've got a block. It won't be good enough. Wait, what? That's greedy. Okay. I get a chance. 
We got a chance. It's not good enough. It's not going to be good enough. They have lethal with that monstrous freaking rage. What a disaster of a game. If I put out a 3 3, I block one, they just rage the other. Two, three, four, five. I go to four. Dead. Just dead. Oh! Why did we. Oh! God, it was so stupid. I hate this freaking deck so deeply. In every. every bit of my being. Not like this. You can't lose like this. You gotta go out on a good note. You gotta pick off some stupid red deck. Ugh. Just can't get that mana screwed, man. Just can't do it. This is not mana screwed. This is great. And they even had to have that frenzy when they had it. Oh, I can't shake it, man. It's got me so ragey. Look at this. Look at this pile. All right. Uh, make this appear. Yep. I know what you're doing. I've seen you before. You have even had something to do with your popularity. No pause on the gaze, and they didn't try to set up the gaze just now. Weird. All right. Let's see how far ahead they'll let me get. No fading hope. You're gonna need a lot of removal against them. Once the mentor shenanigans start, they don't stop. Shieldred could be important. Be very important. You've been to Helping Hand. What? They must have another one? They've got no creature down there yet. Guess what I really need is Lord Skitter. Here's Shelly. Combat. They didn't play the Consider in response to the Shelly. They didn't remove the Gix. Okay, now they're gonna do it? Sure. There's Skitter. They kept. They're at 10. They're facing Underdog and Gix, and they're at 10, and they kept. Better be good. Skitter. Skitter. Go for the gaze, I suppose. And let it go. They gotta do something. They do nothing. What the heck is going on? It's a good draw. Really need something like that. All right, opponent, make it count. I feel like their timing's off. Like, I should really do some of this stuff in response to see if they find a solution instead of waiting till end step. Like that, you know, great example. All right. You kept on top a bunch of times. You should not be in a bad position. Okay, sunset. They'll draw, they'll tokens, and they'll life. There's your mentor. They must have just drawn it. I'll kill it, because killing it works. And we anoint. And Lily. 
Everybody knows almost dead. One of your friends has to leave. Ooh, that should do it. <laughs> that should do it. And we get the mentor out of the graveyard so they can't get it back. Oh, yeah, and it, of course that was lethal. I totally didn't forget that the rat got a plus one plus one counter. Ah, too rattled by the other games. Tilting mill deck, tilting mono red, but you get the wins in between. You take the joy where you find it. And we are back. Post game wrap. Record. Who cares? Obviously, we're not breaking meta. I just got off the road. I just set up a computer. I'm in Florida. I want to go enjoy 70 degree weather instead of 20 degree weather. Who cares what the record is? Why do you care? Because you might craft it and play some games. Don't do that. Wait till new cards. Really. Touch grass. I'm going to touch grass just as soon as I'm done with this outro. So what I'm going to add to this outro is, uh, let's see, would I craft this deck if I didn't have content to make? No, I craft a mono black deck, but probably not this one. Uh, would this deck get you to mythic? It actually might. That's the funny part. Um, it does have a little bit of tech that with good draws can get you up there. I bet by the end of the month, this would deck would get to mythic. You know, even though it's just hanging around 50%, just wait, you know, you know a, a, a good hot run. And I bet you'll get there. So I hope you enjoyed this discard deck and my continued exploits with deep cavern bat. If you like my channel, become a member because members get to see my videos a day early, 24 hours before everybody else. So hit join below. I'll also be doing member shout outs again in the very near future. Uh, not while I'm on vacation. That's like work, but I'll get it. It'll happen. And Patreon, you know, if you join the Patreon for a shout out, it'll happen when I get back home. I'm going to be here for a while. So enjoy the vacation mode of videos. Thank you for watching this video as always. I'll see you in the next one. You're cool.